Hi, Marek. Looking forward to this demonstration of deepness. OK, uh, so here's the icon. Uh, after you click it, uh, basically the control panel for our, uh, for our plugin shows. And here you select your input layer. It's uh, basically uh, auto photo map high resolution that we get from the Polish geodesian uh, mapping service uh, surveying. Uh, I guess like any country has some kind of institution and they make those available and it really integrates nicely within the tool tool, which is also a plus mm -hmm. uh, from using something that's been av av available already and, and, and developed uh, uh, to a point where it's a really proper tool. Uh, you choose which part should be processed, so you can process the visible part or entire layer. The entire layer will be the whole country, so maybe a bit too much. You choose the uh, detector model. Uh, you basically browse to the location where your model lives on your hard drive. Like I said, we have a model zoo that you can uh, use to download models that are already there and should be functioning without any issues just right off right away. And pretty much it, you're good to go. You can load default parameters of the model because they're also written in this ONNX file. And what you do now is basically you click run. Oh, I clicked it two times. It has the error because uh, the processing is already in progress, but here's the oh, yeah. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. And it found 92 cars in this image, right? And you can see they are nicely marked by those bounding boxes. I don't think it missed anything. Maybe this one, but but it's kind of on the on the borders. So maybe that, and it found some some weird things on the on the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the issue with deep learning. It wasn't trained actually on this specific uh, data, so that might be the issue. Generally, I think it's fairly accurate, and I've seen people do this uh, analysis for their whole town or or neighborhood or counting the cars in the city, like mm. the whole city of Poznan or Stockholm, maybe uh, some, uh, I think some guy from Mexico has also done, done some analysis from some, for some cities in Mexico. It's really interesting to see what the people do with that. Uh, so basically you also can use it on a larger scale, like city scale or, uh, or even bigger. Yeah. Uh, but you know, for this demo, we have this. Uh, uh, the, for, the, the unfortunate thing is uh, that we have to wait for the map to load, but generally it works. If you uh, run it once again, it should run. Uh, it should run uh, also. It will take a bit longer. Uh, the nice thing is that you specify the resolution. So it uses kind of resolution in cent centimeters per pixel. Mm -hmm. uh, so the area that you see is not directly tied with the parameters of the thing that network uses. So. Mm -hmm. The visible part, and we should see some results soon. Uh, I'm using CPU for inference on my computer, so uh, it can be made really, really much faster if you have a GPU. Mm -hmm. But it's also to showcase that you can use uh, pretty much any computer to do that. So. Right, very cool. Yeah, as you say, if you've got a GPU, this would uh, speed yeah, things and it's up. Like 223 cars uh, on this time because yeah. it was obviously some larger scope, right? So yeah, this is the. Uh, model for detecting cars. Uh, okay, now maybe let's check some other one. Uh, oh, okay, so maybe building footprints. Uh, and this is a segmentation model. Uh, so it will not return bounding boxes, but segmentation masks as polygons. Mm -hmm. We also use this ortho photo map from, from Polish KLDC cartography office. And we also restrict the processing to visible part. We have a part to unit, our, our X unit model. This time we choose segmenter, not the detector, because mm -hmm. it's a segmentation model, not a detection model. We also have this resolution right here. Uh, you can reload the model, reload the default parameters. Uh, you can choose uh, the tile overlap because uh, the, the blending of individual individual uh, inferences will obviously be kind of have to stitch together. Maybe sometimes you get a bit better results if you choose a higher degree of overlap. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And we can click run and see what happens. This one is a bit bigger, so it will take a while, but not a long while. Yeah. And this area is 
it's relatively large, I'd say, probably consider, you know, considering the input size to the model. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. And uh, basically, yeah, here's your building detection. So you have buildings and backgrounds. Let me mm -hmm. switch off the backgrounds. So the buildings are more clearly visible. That's it. It's a fairly low resolution model because it's 80 centimeters per pixel. Obviously, it's kind of for a city scale inference, more like a city scale, not uh, individual building scale. So, uh, yeah, but you have all the goodness of QGIS here. Yeah. So if you want to change some parameters like layer visibility or change the colors, you can you can you can also do this here, right? It's properties. So if you want the layer to be shown in green, for example, you can just do that and maybe don't make it uh, transparent. So yeah, yeah. It's here. Yeah. Cool. And then you can just save that as a TIFF if you want, can't you? Yeah, yeah, TIFF or or whatever format uh, in vector graphics. Yeah, very cool. Um, well, that's been a beautiful demo. Uh, I think this could be a game changer for people that are used to using QGIS and a wonderful yeah. project. Um, once again, thank you for coming on board and uh, giving the demonstration today. And I hope to catch up on updates in the future. Thanks. Bye. Bye.